Hey guys, so last night I uh, slept in a truck stop again. Um, wasn't bothered, slept really well over here in Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, I got a really busy today. today. Um, obviously I'm gonna go and take a shower and then uh, I need to set up a post office box. Um, and uh, I need to go and see about uh, uh, getting a new social security card issued and then uh, also, I gotta go and talk to uh, Express Personnel about getting a, a position over with the sugar beets. So, a harvest. So, I'm gonna be running around today like a chicken with my head cut off. So, I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to update what's going on during the day. Um, but if I do, I will go ahead and do that. And then um, at the end, I'll let you know how everything went today and uh i feel i feel pretty good like i'm i don't know if i'm just getting used to sleeping in the van or if uh um it's just been quiet and it was always would have been no problem talk to you soon guys hey guys so uh i uh, had a drink back here on the cooler last night uh because it's closer to the bed area and more convenient and uh, I hit a bump and the drink ended up falling and spilling everywhere on the floor here so now I came over to this vacuuming spot to see if I could like uh, vacuum that up before it got too nasty in there so man that's that would only happen if you uh, live in your van I mean who's gonna stick it in a cooler that can almost fall over itself I feel like an idiot now. I should have pulled it out of there this morning. Oh well. Uh, Got to get to cleaning up. Hey guys, this is wild to me. All that fluid right there came out of the carpet that I got right here. <laughs> this strip of carpet I was able to pull out. So all of that fluid came out of there. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, it looks like I might have kept it from getting too nasty in here. It's still damp. That uh, vacuum doesn't have a lot of power. But uh, it's sure a lot of fluid that came out of just that little section of carpet. It's kind of wild. Hey guys, it's been kind of eventful this morning already and I still haven't gone to go try to apply for the job. But uh, I'm over here at Planet Fitness finally after I cleaning up from uh, making a mess out of that uh, rug with the soda pop. And I, on my way in, I noticed an olive garden it's right across the street. So I'm gonna go do the $6.99 lunch special over there when I get done so I can eat healthy and uh, not have to cook it myself. It's a pretty good deal as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna get my shower in and, and uh, uh, work out and whatnot and then hit the road. So over to the uh, unemployment spot, or not unemployment, but uh, employment agency doing the work camping gig. So I'll talk to you a little later, guys. Hey guys, so uh, I'm heading in here to uh, Olive Garden, grab lunch real quick before I go over to the uh, temp agency to see about the job. Uh, they have a really awesome deal here. $6.99 for all you can eat soup, salad, and breadsticks. Uh, for lunch, that's pretty great. And for the most part, it's healthy. And the price, you can't beat that for all you can eat. Um, so I'm headed in here. And uh, when I get done, get in here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what the food looks like and everything and uh, we'll we'll talk to you later hey guys here it is so uh, I got my soup my salad and my bread sticks and they're great uh, it's all you can eat so I'm gonna fill up real good before I split and uh, <clears throat> I'll post this later it's uh, kind of busy in here so don't really want to have everybody staring at me funny talk to you soon Hey guys, here I am over at uh, Express Diploma Professionals. I'm going to go in here and uh, see about landing that work camping job. So I'll talk to you when I get done in here because most of these places they don't want a camera in their face. A lot of camera sh shy people. Well guys, uh, turns out that uh, 
have an issue. Um, they only have p places available that are far enough out that the campgrounds out there, they don't have showers or uh, bathroom facilities. And I got told because I don't have uh, holding tanks and an internal shower that they can't use me out there. Um, so I'm going to head take it, advantage of it, I guess. And since I have an extra month, um, I was kind of a little bummed about not being able to make the money or see what it was like doing the work camping job. But I'm going to drive out to uh, uh, Moses Lake where I grew up um, since I'm north on that part of the country and uh, see some childhood friends and then uh, see a college friend that's up in Bellingham, Washington. So I'm going to go do that and then go down the coastline and out to the slabs. Uh, and chill there until uh, I meet up uh, with Catalina in Las Vegas. So, anyways, not much more much I can do about it. Good thing about being free on the, you know, is that uh, if I was here and I was stuck here and I had to make a living here and that was the case, uh, it would be a little bit more complicated for me. But all it does is kind of minor modify my trip. So. That's a positive, and um, I'll, I'll figure something else out to uh, put together the money for to keep on the road. I guess uh, I'm gonna see about doing some day labor and whatnot after I get done it in Washington. Um, yeah, so wish me luck, guys, and uh, I'll talk to you later, probably sometime along the way on the road. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop into. Uh, um, Mount Rushmore and I guess there's some caves and a zip line over there uh, when I found out I couldn't get the job I I uh, sat down and was looking at some of the th options that I had to go and do so I'll see you I'll see you soon talk to you later